Hello, Miles Maeda here with more Modern Yoga Movement videos for you. In these next two sequences, we are going to be focused on doing a headstand. Now, the headstand is not an easy posture for everyone. So this first part, we'll be focusing on doing preparatory work so that we can do headstand safely. And it's important to know that it requires practice and patience to do a proper headstand, so just take it easy. Uh, and we're going to be also bringing to our awareness the function of the myofascial core. A headstand requires strength in the forearms, elbows, and wrists, and it also requires stability in the legs, the pelvis, and the spine, which includes the neck. So it's really important to pay attention to when we eventually do the headstand if you're experiencing any strain in the neck. So over time, you do want to build strength along the cervical vertebrae. So we'll begin by doing some cervical spine exercises. So these movements are a little faster and a little more light. Okay, so first, where you look up and down. So chin up and down. So very smooth and flowing. Just let the breath flow up and down. Come to the center and side to side. So ear towards the shoulder and left, right and left. So there's a feeling of a little accent at the end and right and left. Come to the center and we'll spiral. So look to the right and left. Chin towards the shoulder. Lifting the spine and right and left. You can keep your head here, inhale. And on the exhale, begin to roll the head in a circle to the other side and then back. And forward. And then to the right, we're going to pause and reverse, going forward and around to the back. Just let the breath flow and we'll pause and reverse around and back and around and to the right. Last one and around and back and around and pause, bring your head center and relax. Now let's move to the shoulders. Just place your hands at the tops of the thighs. Inhale, press down so the shoulders come up towards the ears. Exhale, roll the shoulders back and down. So it's nice and slow. Inhale, extending the elbows. Exhale, back and down. Nice shoulder circles. And feel the Myofascia layers in the neck and shoulders softening as you do this. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Now let's go a little faster. Elbow circles, so bigger circles. And here, just let the breath flow. Mobilizing the shoulders. And we just do about six of these. And the last one, we bring the elbows together. So it's a little bigger, diving up, scooping around and around. So feel a lift up the front of the body as you go up and a little stretch along the back as you come down. A little arch and a little curl. Let's do one more up and down. And let us integrate that with a vinyasa. So hold onto your feet and gently roll over onto your hands and knees. And let's come into downward facing dog. Inhale here, and on the exhale, wave, rolling the spine one vertebra at a time, drawing the energy up the spine, so from the pelvic floor all the way up through the throat. Lower the knees, let's travel back, and do that once more. Downward dog, inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, drawing the energy up, gauging the deep abdominals, Extend your legs, extend your arms, and then lower the knees. 
and we're going to sit in Vajrasana on the heels. If this is not comfortable for you to sit in, you can sit in any comfortable posture. And now we're going to open and stabilize the shoulders. So when we do the first exercises, we're externally rotating. And when we do the second set of exercises, we're internally rotating the arms. So sit comfortably with a nice elongated spine. Let's extend the arms out to the sides and we externally rotate the arms so the palms face up. And you can just look and make sure the palms are level. Inhale, reach through your fingers, stretch the arms. And on the exhale, cross the arms, right goes on top, and that palm faces down. Inhale, open. And we'll do the other side. Exhale, left arm on top, and we turn that palm facing down. Inhale. Exhale, right arm on top. And use your left arm to pull the elbow towards your shoulder, shoulders down. And inhale, open. Other side, exhale, using the right arm to bring the elbow towards the shoulder. And inhale. And here's our final pose. Exhale, cross. And we're going to bend both elbows. And the easy version is just having the backs of the hands together. If you can wrap around further, the palms of the hands will be towards each other. Now the elbows should be about 90 degrees and lift and just breathe here. I'll turn sideways so you can see. So keep the arms a little bit away from your face, shoulders down, and you're just gently lifting the elbows. So inhale here and exhale, release. Extend the arms, again, palms up. Inhale. Now the left arm goes on top, exhale. And we bend both elbows and we start with the backs of the hands pressing together. If you can continue wrapping the arms, the palms of the hands will come together. Shoulders down, raise your elbows and do your best to have 90 degree angles at the elbows. So we're keeping the arms a little bit away from the face and a lift at the elbows. And long, deep breathing here. Inhale. And on the exhale, release. Extend the arms out. And let's relax the arms down. OK. Next set of exercises, let's bring the arms down. And this is internally rotating. So we're going to keep the palms facing down. And we'll start with the right hand. Bring the elbow up, placing the hand to touch the spine. And the left hand is pulling the elbow towards your head. Now you're pressing your elbow away and pulling with your hand. So it's an isometric exercise. And breathe. So we're still feeling a lift of the spine all the way up through the throat. And let's release and do the other side. So the left elbow bends, touch your spine, and your right hand holds the elbow and pull and the elbow is pushing, going in the opposite direction. And breathe. Do your best to keep your shoulders down from your ears. Inhaling. And exhale, release. Now we take the left arm and we place it behind the back. And the right hand is going to hold on to the arm eventually making its way up to your elbow if you can. And then that arm is going to slide up your back along the spine. And you can just stay here and breathe. Or if you can do the full pose, you reach the right arm up behind your back and see if you can clasp your hands. If you can't, you can just touch your spine. Shoulders down, lift the spine and breathe. Let's inhale and exhale, release. And we'll do the other side. The right hand goes behind the back. The left hand holds onto the arm, eventually walking up towards the elbow. 
And then if you can do that, the right arm goes up the back along the spine. You can just stay here or go further, taking the left hand, clasping the hands behind your back. Gomukasana. And if you can't clasp your hands, just touch your spine. Lifting the spine and breathing. And to come out, we inhale and exhale, release. Inhale, stretch through the arms, and exhale, relax. Okay, let us once again integrate by doing a vinyasa, come into downward facing dog. Inhale here, and exhale, let's wave, rolling the spine into a nice strong plank incorporating our myofascial core. And this time, let's come into a cobra. So release the pelvis towards the floor. You can let the legs relax onto the floor and relax the tops of the feet. So feel energy flowing up the front of the body, flowing down the back of the body, and we're lifting our pelvic floor, feeling that lift up through the spine, through the throat. So extend the legs, extend your elbows, and breathe. And use your knees, we'll inhale, come up onto all fours, the pelvis goes back, and let's take a rest in child's pose. Take a few long deep breaths here. Come up onto all fours. So we're going to do dolphin plank, followed by dolphin push-ups. Let's come down onto our elbows, and we want the elbows to be shoulder width apart. So take your hands and see if you can hold on, grasp your upper arms, and you can move your elbows close together if you need to. Release your hands and clasp them together, pressing the palms. So this will strengthen the arms. And I like to do it twice because when I bring my hands together, my elbows might actually slide out a bit. So I check again, make sure the elbows are not wider than shoulder width apart. So you want your, it's very important because this is gonna prepare us for a headstand. Clasp the hands, squeeze the palms together to make the arms strong. Press the forearms down, elbows and fists. Shoulders down from your ears, long neck. Now let's extend one leg, extend the other leg. Here's our plank. So we're pressing through the heels, extending the knees. We're using our myofascial core, so lifting pelvic floor, deep abdominals engaged, and lifting through the spine. So long, deep breathing here. So keep the shoulders down from your ears. Press down into the floor with your strong arms. Press back through the heels. Reach forward through the crown. You can do this for five breaths to begin and work your way to hold this longer. Inhale, and then lower the knees, exhale. You can release the hands and come back into child's pose. Now you can repeat that a few times if you like. We're gonna move on to the dolphin push-up. All right, so let's come back onto all fours. Come onto your elbows, and once again, check the position of the elbows by seeing if you can hold onto your forearms. Clasp the hands. So when we do dolphin, we want the palms squeezing together, which makes our arms stronger. And again, I recheck and place my hands in the dolphin position. So in plank, we extend the leg back, but when we do the push-ups, you wanna walk your feet forward so it will feel a little bit like a downward dog. You should be able to let your head release between the arms with, and uh, just depends on the length of your arms and spine. Your head could touch the floor, but ideally you're pressing down enough that the head is not on the floor. Your heels do not need to be on the floor for this exercise, but we do want to engage our myofascial core. So in this position, shoulders are down from my ears. I'm doing my best to have a nice long neck. 
and inhale here. And on the exhale, aim the chin over the fists and back. So going forward, nice strong arms and back. So this is a strengthening exercise. Start off with about five of these. And again, you can do more if you like. I think that was five, so we inhale here. Exhale, lower the knees. And we'll do that together once more. Just relax in child's pose. So these are all very good preparations for our headstand. And I recommend doing these exercises if you really want to uh, become more confident and feeling more safe and secure in your headstand. Again, let's come up onto all fours, elbows down, check the placement of your elbows. I always do it twice and squeeze. So if the elbows start to slip out, you're going to lose the strong foundation or the base that you need. So it's really important to keep those elbows shoulder width apart. And once again, to do the push up, press the arms down, lift your knees, your feet will be a little bit closer to your arms. And just check, it's like downward dog, you can lift your pelvis, nice long spine. And again, the heels don't need to be on the floor. Inhaling here. Exhale, aim the chin over the fists. You don't have to go all the way to the floor. And if you can't go as far forward as past the fists, then just go as far as you can. And eventually work your way over the fists, just doing it about five times to start. And keep lifting the pelvic floor, use your abdominal engagement. It should help this exercise feel a little more light. And after you do five, lower the knees, take a rest in child's pose. And we're gonna finish with a dynamic rabbit pose. Place the palms of the hands on the floor, somewhat uh, close to the knees, a little bit more forward of the knees. And we're gonna roll onto the crown of the head, lifting the pelvis. So it's inhale, putting a little bit of weight and pressure on the head, and exhale, roll back onto the forehead. Inhale up. Exhale, so sh you should be able to control how much weight you're placing on your head. And just be careful you're not straining your neck. It should feel like a nice massage. And it is preparing us to put weight on the head and feel the strength we do need in the cervical spine, the neck. And we do about five of these and relax. So draw the knees together, inhale. And on the exhale, let's roll up one vertebra at a time. Coming up right. Feeling a sense of accomplishment. And that completes this sequence.